supernova. Up by there, I think. Um, if you can see the two stars, let me see if I can shine on them. I think. Now, they're supposed to be like the Bethlehem star in the Bible. The supernova. There's two stars coming together. Now, the, what that is is a like, uh, massive blue in the sky. It's going to be bigger than Venus, they've been talking about. I can see two stars coming close together up there now. So maybe that's it. Not that helicopter which went past just now. If you can see it, see if I can catch a picture of it. Yeah. There, that's it. There, there it is. I found it. Yeah, see it. And basically, what happens with the Bethlehem star? It was seen by the Chinese at the same time as the Bethlehem star appeared. It was called a broom star, and uh, it happened as scientifically proven by the Chinese. They've got records of it 2,000 years ago. And uh, apparently, after 70 days, it disappeared into a storm, which is a sign of leadership in the Old Testament. 70 elders, Jesus had 70 elders. Uh, 70 in the Old Testament, uh, then the 70 books, the LXX. Uh, so this, this 70 is quite significant for leadership, uh, leaders to be born. And uh, that's what happened anyway. Uh, he was predicted a star, uh, Numbers chapter 6, I think it was. Star would come in Jacob, uh, come over Jacob. And there we have it, a star. Bethlehem star appeared and it says in chapter 9 of Daniel uh, about the Messiah after the 70 weeks would appear again there's 70 there again which is 490 days but a biblical prophetical day is one day for a year Ezekiel 4 verse 6 you get the reference to that so there you have it the star of Bethlehem, and they're talking about this. this it, Jesus died in 30 AD, 30 years after the Bethlehem star, and 30 years uh, before Jesus returned, we could see a star, the supernova they're talking about, red supernova. Google it, uh, you'll see two stars coming close together. And uh, but again, that's science. Oh, I don't know if you can, if it's going to be proven correct. Um, seems a bit far-fetched. Certainly the biblical events of 70, for 30 years after Jesus was first born, then Jesus uh, appeared. And then he died three years later on, on the cross, and as it was fulfilled in the prophecies. That's why the kings of the East came over to visit Jesus, because it was written in the prophecies by Daniel, who was there... Um, second in command in the country uh, for some time and uh, the writings were in the books so it was easy to look for a star to appear at that time uh, to show the king which would be born which is jesus uh, born to die of course in our place on the cross so i believe in him we have everlasting paradise and uh, the way back to god the stars, think of the stars, the North Star fixed, that's where you get Greenwich Mean Time from, point a circular calendar at it, Greenwich Mean Time, it's fixed star, at the end of the seven suspend stars I call them, it's the plough, and uh, it's just off that, four fingers off that you'll see it. The thing is, uh, yeah, the sun, the moon and the earth are right distance from each other in the eclipse. 400 times 400, it's mathematical. It shows God's in control. There you go. Anyway, I've got to go. By the way, you get the ring effect. Um, and that shows God's engagement ring to the church on earth. And God is, I believe, represented there. 
Uh, because Jesus is the son of righteousness who rides with healing in his wings. Okay, uh, chapter, I forget what chapter to say. And then it says, ah, uh, so then the Holy Spirit reflects the glory of Jesus, which would be like the moon. So the earth would be uh, like for God who made everything uh, by Christ Jesus. And all three become one, which shows the triune God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three become one in the eclipse. There you go.